den Peso verpausen. He's easily the longest running joke in modern day politics. A dreamer who has spent the last 20 years jousting with the American political system. Pat Paulson is once again running a comical campaign for the Oval Office. Now I'm often asked, why do I travel around the country talking politics? Is it for humanitarian reasons, community spirit, or is it for the money, the limousines, and the girls? The answers are no, no, yes, yes, yes. Well, I said that. <laughs> Why should I be any different? <laughs> the year was 1968, when a groundswell of popular demand first propelled Patrick L. Paulson into presidential politics. I did not want this support. I have not desired it. As I said, I'd rather remain as I am today, common, ordinary, simple savior of America's destiny. <laughs> A small goal for this little man of the people, and yet he had something that no other candidate had in that election year, a weekly appearance on the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour, where he continued his campaign of denial. Then you are definitely not running for public office, right? Definitely not. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not a presidential candidate. I never have been. Well, that's straight from the horse's mouth, so uh, that's, that's you're going to disappoint a lot of people around the country. I appreciate this opportunity so early in my campaign. <laughs> Make my position clear, and thank you, Tom. And thank you. Thank you, my fellow Americans. Though his writing campaign of that year gathered less than 1% of the vote, history would later prove that the Paulson candidacy was no laughing matter. Hubert Humphrey told me that I cost him the election. Seriously, I said, what are you talking about? He said, well, the people who voted for you would have voted for me, probably. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's not a part of history I particularly want to be credited with. Hey, uh, give me a little hand here. 1988 is, of course, another election year, and Pat is back on the race again. But this time around, it's a campaign with little support and absolutely no money. I'm running for president, and I don't have a lot of money, okay? <laughs> so, if I don't tip you, you won't care, will you? No. Because you can just, that's a contribution to the campaign. It's all part of the... Yeah, it's a campaign contribution. Right, right. I'm just so a... So I take it out on my income tax? Yeah, you can... <laughs> <laughs> Political <laughs> professionals haven't counted him out yet, though, because once again, Pat is pushing his presidential bid on television, courtesy of the Smothers Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to our reunion show, former presidential candidate, Patrick Layton Paulson. It was Paulson's political humor in part that led CBS to cancel the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. But the rating success of their 20th reunion show earlier this year meant a regular spot in the network schedule. I'm very excited to be here. 20 year reunion show with my close personal friends, Tom and Dave Smothers. It was a lot of fun. It was a nostalgic show, so we didn't get into any, anything in particular. Oh, but we sure got away with more than we got away with in 19... Uh, when were we on? 20 years ago. Uh, 80, 67. 1972, I lost the presidential election to Richard Nixon. That's when you people thought that he would make a better president than me. <laughs> now we have Ronald Reagan in the White House, an actor. Could start a trend. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Other actors in politics, Mario Cuomo, the brother of Perry Cuomo, I don't know what that's about. Though he makes his living by poking fun at presidential politics, Pat knows it isn't always a lot of laughs, and he still remembers the lessons learned on the campaign trail in 1972, when he spoke in earnest on issues like the environment, overpopulation, and the arms race. I went into a town in New Hampshire, and I said, uh, okay, space research is fine, but let's forget about that. Let's clean up this place first. Let's put our money into this find alternative energy sources, et cetera, et cetera. And I, and I was talking at a town where their main source of revenue was space research. Well, how many votes do you think I got in that town? He got two votes. <laughs> Though his presidential campaign is little more than a running joke this year, Pat Paulson is still a dreamer. And while his political fire may have been smothered early, his quick wit and deadpan delivery will always make him the first candidate of comedy.